Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope you can all hear me. I know you see my floating head there on the screen. Apologies for uh, no camera on my end. This is Stacy Canaley. Hopefully you recognize my face from the convergence. I'm your fearless leader in this effort. We're really happy to have you with us here today. Um, if you remember from our time together, some of the strongest words that we heard uh, were pass it on, laudato si. Um, we heard over and over again that the real message here and the work that we're set out to do is to pass it on, pass on this good work and continue the good work on climate change. One of the best ways to do this is through doing a people's pilgrimage, which we heard some about during our time together. Um, this is an activity you can do this summer during your vacation or this fall in the lead up to Paris. And today we have with us our good colleague and friend Yeb Sanyo to share some updates on the People's Pilgrimage and some inspiration for you as you consider doing your own. Um, and then we will have our colleague Alex Price also talk with you about the pilgrimage and how exactly to go about it. What are the steps to do it on your end? Um, before I do pass it to Yeb, I did want to mention that this is the first of many ongoing events and educational pieces we will be offering to you in the coming months. There is another one coming up on July 29th around climate change communications, and you can stay tuned on that. I'll be sending out information shortly. But without further ado, uh, I will pass it to you, Yeb. And and thank you, Stacy, and uh, hello to everyone. I hope you see me and hear me loud and clear. Again, it's uh, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to uh, reconnect with all of you. Um, if I uh, suddenly uh, look uh, blurry to you or uh, my connection gets cut, I just want to i uh, warn you that there's a big thunderstorm happening just right now where I am uh, in the Philippines, and so please bear with me. Um, many of you probably have used Google Hangouts on air before, and uh, it works uh, just the same way that you've used this before. For those who are using this uh, for the first time or are not very familiar with the platform, um, it's basically... Uh, a webinar platform and uh, so that many of you can view this broadcast it's essentially a broadcast and later on um, you uh, can uh, participate uh, in the conversation by moving your um, your mouse uh, towards the left part of your screen that would activate sort of a, a menu on the left and you can click on the Q&A icon and participate later on in the Q&A. Um, again, thanks, Stacy, for um, getting us all together again. This uh, is such a, a wonderful moment to reconnect with the whole gang. Um, this, uh, of course, uh, comes off from um, uh, all of us being together in Rome. And so uh, this opportunity for us to continue uh, working together with all of the fantastic and amazing convergence leaders we met in Rome. Now allow me to bring up uh, my screen so that you can see some of uh, the stuff I'd like to share with you uh, uh, regarding uh, some updates on the pilgrimage but also some updates uh, on uh, what has happened so far since we've been uh, all together in Rome and um, and uh, let me know, uh, Stacy or Alex, if uh, you see this screen properly. Yes, and I hope it. And I hope you see my slides properly. Um, we've had a chance to talk about the People's Pilgrimage right there in Rome uh, when we when we were all there. And this is basically um, a way of uh, inviting all of you to continue with this journey with all of us. I just wanted to retrace some of the steps we took this year. Uh, early June, before we even met in Rome, the pilgrimage went to Vanuatu, and uh, this image shows 
uh, the warm, very warm, uh, fantastic welcome we, we got from the Pacific Islanders. A lot of singing and dancing, and uh, we went around Port Vila, and like many pilgrimages uh, uh, on this, on the People's Pilgrimage, like many walks, we ended with uh, what we call a selfie, a picture of uh, our feet uh, joined together, and uh, we can paste that on, on Facebook. Also in Vanuatu, we a part of uh, the pilgrimage is, of course, not just walking, but uh, allowing us to engage local communities and also um, uh, pitch in uh, to uh, some of the amazing uh, ways of communicating message. And this is uh, my brother. If you're wondering uh, where this uh, colorful background behind me uh, comes from, uh, my brother's. this is my brother's painting, and uh, he went with us on the pilgrimage in Vanuatu. And uh, this is the finished uh, painting he did uh, of a mural right there in the heart of Port Villa. So amazing, amazing guy, amazing art. And uh, of course, we all saw each other in Rome for that uh, uh, march uh, at St. Peter's Square, perhaps one of the most memorable moments uh, of our time together there. Uh, and with the Pope uh, uh, blessing us and uh, giving us his uh, uh, warm support uh, was, again, uh, one of the things that make all of these things uh, so worthwhile. Um, if, if, you, if you felt that there was uh, someone watching you during the time you were at the Convergence, indeed, we were taking uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of photos of you, even in your most candid moments. So uh, some of these pictures we took, uh, I took during that time, uh, captured some of uh, your uh, moments when you were deep in thought, and uh, I'd like to be able to share this with you today as uh, I invite you to join us in reflecting on what we can do together, ways forward, because uh, all of these pictures uh, help me remember all of you amazing, all of the amazing people I've met, and uh, not everybody uh, is here, but uh, just a few of the shots uh, that make uh, us remember um, the fantastic time we had together and the very meaningful conversations we've had, which is all part of this journey, really. And uh, this time also in, uh, in, uh, in Rome, when we had a chance to go around the city in a mini people's pilgrimage, so some of you have, have had a chance to understand better what we try to uh, do in terms of uh, how to organize a pilgrimage, how to make it happen in different ways and uh, uh, following a certain kind of template where it would include, um, of course, prayers, uh, visiting places of uh, religious or spiritual significance, but also places that have a lot of meaning for us in terms of uh, climate change and, and the impacts we face. I'd like to underscore as well as we have this conversation today is that uh, with the with with kind of uh, uh, energy that we saw at the convergence with all of you, we are truly convinced that the planetary awakening is happening. And this is uh, about uh, faith communities uh, being part of uh, this whole endeavor to drive change and transformation in the world, but also be part of this uh, uh, journey towards uh, what uh, many of us would consider as uh, the beginning of uh, uh, a new era of global cooperation, not just among us, uh, in, inside our communities, but within our communities, but also uh, in a larger way of people uh, in mean places, discovering that the uh, solutions are available. Of course, many of you remember the peacock at the uh, Salishanum, um, and uh, I, I like to show this picture to you because uh, uh, it, uh, uh, it it was a uh, it was one of uh, the uh, most uh, 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 memorable or. Um, memorable attractions we had right there and um, I invite you today to be part of uh, the journey uh, as uh, we had discussed before but this time uh, let, let, let me tell you how uh, you can be part of this journey uh, in, in, in more practical ways and in how to embrace the message of the pilgrimage 
course, there is the digital platform, the website, and I encourage you to uh, uh, to visit the website and uh, and uh, familiarize yourself with it and look around and get the feel of it. It's uh, it's a storytelling platform, and it should allow all of you uh, to tell the stories. Uh, uh, as you go along uh, and and embark on on your, on your own spiritual journeys, it's really about that. It's about each one of us, whether whether individually as communities or maybe uh, entire cities or entire nations, entire uh, spiritual traditions, embark on our spiritual journeys because that is part of what is needed for us to confront the planetary crisis that we face. If you look around the website more carefully, and Alex will be uh, walking us through some of the important uh, things as well later on uh, how to uh, navigate uh, this platform. You have all of those dots uh, on the on the world map being added, and we'd like, and we've been very much encouraged with so many more dots added in the previous weeks. We'd like to see more of those dots coming from convergence leaders such as you organizing your uh, journeys in your own countries and your own communities and uh, making all of those dots appear. And as you put on those dots there, uh, you will see your story featured uh, on, the, on the other parts of, of the website. So what, 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 what are the messages that we want to send across as we all walk uh, on, this, on these journeys? It is about walking and witnessing and providing uh, wisdom to this whole uh, seemingly um, in crazy world that we live in uh, with, with so much uh, of the problems that we confront. It is a global collective effort, meaning when we see all of those dots on the screen of the website, it's not just the dots there. Those are stories that are woven together and that becomes a... Uh, community it becomes a collective uh, and powerful and meaningful way of uh, telling the whole world that uh, there's so many people like you, uh, all of us being connected. It is an open source platform, meaning uh, everybody, anybody um, can embark on a journey and uh, and be part of this. Uh, and uh, you can use the the brand, you can use uh, the logos, you can. Uh, you can use the name, of course. Uh, it is a, a people's pilgrimage uh, everywhere in the world that we want to see. It, in, it involves, of course, a movement uh, that engages with any uh, kind of person from all walks of life, uh, whether you are a person of faith or a, a person of no faith. This is your opportunity to part, be part of this journey and of this movement. Um, walking is uh, a one of the most in important instruments for expressing um, active nonviolence, and, and as such, is a peaceful expression of uh, of uh, of our desire to see a better world. At the heart of uh, the journey that we undertake is uh, an expression as well of our desire to see change through concrete actions. Uh, uh, specifically as it pertains to the climate crisis and how to address all of the social issues uh, that are so much intertwined with the climate crisis. As we journey on this, many people would, would, would think or ask how could uh, the People's Pilgrimage create an impact um, as, as in any kind of problem that the, that the world confronts today Every single act, every single small act uh, that you contribute makes a difference. And in the context of this journey, every step would count. Whether you're walking for one block from your one of your favorite uh, hangouts uh, in your in your community uh, to to another landmark, there it can be a church, it can be uh, some corner or some some monument or it can be uh, a whole bunch of people walking across a whole continent. Uh, it, it, uh, it gives us the same uh, meaningful power and allows all of us to connect with each other and it contributes towards uh, the collective good and the collective power of, uh, of this important journey. It's also an important uh, thing as uh, 
the digital platform provides for us to share your story, but it doesn't stop there. Sharing your story means uh, gathering your friends, whether uh, offline uh, and uh, getting people together, as you will see in a fantastic video of uh, one of the pilgrimages that uh, uh, our friend Tessa has embarked on um, um, uh, in, in, uh, even, before, even before we saw each other in Rome. And uh, share your story through social media, whether it's a, it's a, it's a tweet or a, a Facebook post or an Instagram post. Share your story and make other people realize that there's so many people being involved in this global movement. It is an articulation of uh, a genuine spiritual response because it reflects the voices of uh, many people from different spiritual traditions it really generally represents uh, our call for urgent action, ambition, and uh, climate justice uh, for the international community to hear all of these important voices all over the world. And people of faith, especially many of us who are now working together very closely and with convergence leaders like you uh, being part of, of this circle, this circle of change, um, we have become much more stronger and we derive a lot of strength uh, in the fact that we are all working together now. It also, of course, reflects uh, an important um, aspect of uh, the planetary environmental crisis, which we need uh, to uh, uh, treat and deal with, not only through a political, technical, or uh, and an environmental context, but looking at all of these challenges from a moral and spiritual context as such, what we do uh, to project uh, this, his, this problem to the rest of the world is to underscore and highlight the fact that uh, the People's Pilgrimage provides us with uh, a moral dimension to all of these issues. For many of our brothers and sisters around the world, um, the footsteps uh, that they leave on, 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 on many surfaces around the world are footsteps uh, that tell us sad stories as well because the climate crisis has become an issue of survival for so many people um, that it provides us now a, a challenge uh, that can definitely mean a lot of uh, um, it's for us in the context of uh, becoming agents and instruments of positive change all over the world. Let me uh, end by uh, looking to uh, what Pope Francis has uh, sent us as a message, uh, also in the context of where we situate a journey like the People's Pilgrimage uh, in Laudato Si. It's so wonderful to find there uh, the Pope expressing the interrelatedness of everything and that all of us as brothers and sisters are in fact uh, uh, embarking on a wonderful pilgrimage woven together by God's love for all of us including uh, our creature, the, uh, his creation around us uh, which unites us in fond affection with uh, the sun, the moon and the brother river and mother earth. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, passage in his encyclical that we have all grown fond of over the past few weeks, seeing how powerful this message is. And so this convergence uh, that brought us all together in Rome, the march that we embarked on, and the, in particular, uh, every moment that we have uh, in the People's Pilgrimage is building really a global movement uh, and I am so happy and honored to be walking with all of you on this journey and uh, I'd, like, I'd, li I'd like to share with you uh, this photo of um, some of us uh, while we were doing that mini pilgrimage, this is at the Pantheon in Rome and uh, it was an honor to have walked with you literally there but I will be even more honored to walk with you figuratively as you all embark on those pilgrimages in all of your uh, homes, in, in your communities, and uh, connect with each other. And uh, I have uh, received a lot of emails from some of you. Uh, yeah, some of you have approached us um, with expressing your keen interest in joining the pilgrimage. And so we welcome that very warmly, and we very much look forward to all of you becoming part of this journey and making 
every step count. With that, I thank you uh, with uh, the um, friendship and uh, solidarity that you have so expressed uh, to each other and uh, to our voices and Green Faith. Um, and uh, we do look forward to having all of you with us on this most important journey of our lives. Thank you very much. Back to you, Stacy. Thank you, yeah, really inspiring and, and quite frankly really fun to see all of those photos and all of those memories from, from Rome, so thank you for that. I'm now going to pass it to Alex Price on our communications team to talk with you about how to go about a pilgrimage logistically. Thanks, Stacey. Um, I think the piece I'm going to focus on particularly is the kind of maximizing the impact of our pilgrimages by amplifying our journeys online. Um, the, logis the direct logistics are kind of on the ground will of course massively vary depending on where you are and there's not only so much we can say, but there is a sort of selection of resources on the website which you can use for that. Um, but a really key part of the pilgrimage is not just kind of being a transformational moment for those taking part, but also as a way to reach out to your friends, families and kind of extended networks around the world. And a key piece of that is the social media. So whether you use Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Snapchat, kind of whatever platform you're comfortable using, and whatever platform your peers and friends and family use, that's one of the best ways to publicize it. If you can talk about it on those, that's the best way in which you can reach out to people. The tag that people are using is People's Pilgrimage. So if you share stuff using that, Sean will be at the other end, and he'll be resharing, retweeting, making sure that even more people see what you're up to. So we're, we'll support you online every way we can. Um, the main piece I wanted to show you was how to use the platform that we've developed. It's super simple, but I thought it'd be good just to talk you through it very, very briefly, um, just to make sure there isn't any confusion. So let me just do a quick screen share. So it's on the website, People's Pilgrimage, and if you select the Pilgrimage Map section, um, you're taken through to the map, which Yeb showed earlier. Click on the arrow, and you see the globe. So on the right-hand side of the screen, you see the globe with the various pilgrimages dotted around the world. And then on the left-hand side, we have a kind of chronological list of all the pilgrimages that have taken place with the nearest ones at the top. Adding your own is super, super simple. I'll just show you that process. Um, so you click Add Event, and you're asked to sign in. You can sign in using your Google account, using Facebook. You can set it up your own account with another email. Um, just click Sign In with Google. Cool. And then we're in. And then you can add your own event. So, for example, I'm going cycling the Alps this summer, which I'm sure everyone's very jealous of. Um, so if I go cycling pilgrimage to the Alps, um, add a description here, and then you can add an image. So you can either add a URL, um, this could be just any image from anywhere on the net, or you can add um, upload one of your own images. So I've just got a URL there, so I can add that. Um, you want to add the location if people want to come join you, um, so this will be the town put Geneva is where I'm starting. Um, you put the date that you're going. So in the middle of August. Um, and then you can add tags. So the first ta first layer is, tends to be kind of your faith or sort of cultural background. Um, and then the second one is the kind of pilgrimage you're taking part in. So this one can be a cycling pilgrimage. And you click Save, and that will add your pilgrimage to the map. And it's as simple as that. So it's a super, super easy way to share what you're up to. And it kind of serves two key purposes, one of which is to encourage people to take part in your pilgrimage. Um, so you can use it as an organizing tool. Um, you can share links. You can share the actual pilgrimage itself. So if you click down here, 
you can see the Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus. Um, so you can click on that and it'll boot up Twitter and it's a way for you then to try and get people to take part. And then actually after the pilgrimage is passed and people have taken part, you can then use it as a way to tell the story of what happened. And as Yeb said earlier, it adds to the sense of a kind of global concern building up with every dot representing a different localized and human story of why climate matters. Um, so I think that's kind of all we can cover for now. Well, the other thing I would say is that both Sean and I are just an email away, and we'd love to help promote and support your pilgrimages in any way possible. So we're very, if you are I'll share your stuff on social media as well. Cool, I think that's it from me. So I'll pass back over to Stacy, who's going to wrap things up. Great. Thank you, Alex. Um, we now have time for, for just a few questions. And um, as we mentioned before, on the left-hand side of your screen, there is a Q&A feature. So you can just type a question in there. Um, so take just a minute to type in any questions you have for Yeb or for Alex. And they will be able to see those questions and then answer them for you. And I know one of the questions that's come in, uh, Alex and Yab, is around photos. Um, it tests, and I'm sure many others would like to have access to the, the good photos, Yab, that you took during the event. So uh, is there a next step for uploading those or uh, giving people access to those? And Yab, you can, you can speak directly if you'd like. Yes, certainly. I'd, I'd love to be able to uh, share all of those pictures. Um, I got, I, I'll work with Alex in uh, having them uploaded either on Flickr, and I'll be happy to share all of these on uh, the Facebook page. Great. Thanks, Yeb. All right, so any questions out there on, on what you heard or organizing a pilgrimage in your own community? Take just another minute for questions. OK, well, it looks like no questions are coming in. Um, so know that we are here, as Alex mentioned, myself, Alex, Sean, Yeb, and the entire Green Faith and Our Voices team is here to answer any questions you have about the People's Pilgrimage as you begin to consider organizing one in your own community. And then, of course, questions about anything else as you put, put your action plans uh, into place. So it looks like we do have a few questions coming in. So. Uh, Srivani has a question, uh, Yeb and, and Alex. She says, are there any specific criteria for the individual people's pilgrimage, or can it be, be as small as a local hike? So if you could answer that directly. Yes, definitely, uh, as, as uh, we described it earlier, it can, it can range from even one person doing a hike, uh, even, in, even just for a couple of blocks. Uh, or it can be a, a an epic walk across uh, uh, the continental United States. Um, it can be any uh, kind of uh, of a walk that you can embark on. So it can be a simple, um, intimate gathering like the one perhaps you have already seen uh, on the video that uh, uh, our friend Tessa embarked on with uh, with her friends uh, in in her community. Or it can be um, uh, joining a a pilgrimage from one country to another. Some of those are in fact happening in some places in Europe right now. And if you click on some of the dots on on the digital platform, you will find about find out about uh, some of the details for that. And uh, we will also be embarking on the Rome to Paris uh, pilgrimage uh, from September to December at the near uh, this year. And uh, if you are available, able, and willing to join us, we'll be, ha uh, be very happy to have you with us. Hmm. Thanks, Yeb. And I think Yeb sets, sets up the epic example for all of us in terms of his pilgrimage, but it really can be of any length. So thanks, Yeb and Srivani. Uh, we also have a question here about uh, from Panaki about uh, engaging political leadership. So specifically, he's wondering, do we have to engage our political leadership with our pilgrimages? 
Again, like uh, the uh, distances that you can cover on the pilgrimages, uh, it can be as simple as uh, a very uh, low-key event, uh, just uh, being with your friends, or it can can be engaging political leaders as well. Uh, I think that uh, that provides us with a, a rich tapestry of uh, stories. And yes, if you would like to engage political leaders, uh, that is something that you feel worthwhile doing uh, and uh, uh, and finding a meaningful uh, uh, outcome out of that, that. That is also something we encourage. Sean is just going to share a quick piece of kind of digital media side of things um, that kind of reflects the, the little or large nature of the People's Pilgrimage. He's just going to talk a little bit about Instagram. Let me just add him in. Hey, <coughs> Harry, am I, am I live? You're live, Sean. Hey, every, hey everyone. So real quick, uh, just to answer the question of, of how these pilgrimages actually work, um, the great thing about it, as, as Yab and as Alex has said, is that you can take your own um, form with it. And so, you know, using different social media platforms, you can do a lot with it. So if you are someone who uses Instagram a lot, or if you know someone, if your target audience, your community is on Instagram a lot, or Snapchat, you can do that. Um, post it on Instagram, and all you can do then is just uh, go to thepeoplespilgrimage.org, um, and when you're typing in the description, you can just put the link directly into your Instagram. Um, that way the photo can come up, um, and the video and stuff like that will be able to show. Um, so again, it doesn't have to be as big, and it doesn't have to be as fancy um, as you may think it, it, it could be, um, as whatever you want um, your community to do to really be impacted by the spiritual connection of climate change that we all have. Thanks, Sean. And I, I would add, too, to that, that I know that we've had, you know, in terms of, of scope and size, we've had individuals do their own solo pilgrimage, and then we've had larger groups or, or congregations or, or much bigger communities engage these things. So of course doing it as a community event is wonderful because it engages more people but you can do it uh, with with just uh, you know yourself in a solo walk or linking up with your congregation or, or religious community. Okay great. Any other questions? Um, remember that the Q&A box is on the left hand side of your screen. If you toggle over there you'll see it pop up. So any other questions before we we close our event today? Okay, so I don't see any other questions. Alex or Sean, let me know if, if I'm missing any. I think we're all good. Good. All good. Well, oh, great. Well, thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, please do help fill up our map with dots. It's it's vital that we show to the world, up through uh, and to Paris, that we care about this and we're doing our pilgrimages to show our love and our care for this world and, and that we need a very strong agreement on climate change. So please do your pilgrimage, get it there on the map, get it out to the world in terms of Twitter and, and other social media, and uh, keep us posted on, on the good work that you're doing.